Hi everyone, it's Mike here. It's the beginning of May, which means it's also the beginning of a new month, which means it's a new mission inspiration. Now the prompts for this month have been set by Trish Rosima instead of me. As a special thank you for being one of the admins on the Mission Inspiration Facebook group, I asked her to set the prompts for this month instead. So, without further ado, I will show you the mission brief clip and then I will show you what I've done with them. Welcome, Art Agent Specialists. Your special mission for May, provided by Agent T, Trish Rosima, is as follows. Step 1. Apply gesso to your page. Step 2. Use three gelatos or water-soluble pigments. Step 3. Blow paint with a straw. Step 4. Use a stencil with a medium of your choice. Step 5. Add texture with modelling paste. Step 6. Add collage elements or fragments. Step 7. Play with pens or pencils. Step 8. Add a border. Step 9. Use some verbiage somewhere. And finally, step 10. Use stickles, glitter glue or add gems. And this message will self-destruct in three seconds. Good luck. So step number one, apply gesso to your page. So for this I'm using Indigo Blue White Gesso Good, which is their version of the gesso, and I'm just applying it to my page. This is my small dilutions journal, and I'm just applying it to a double page spread with a spatula. And step number two is use three gelatos or water soluble pigment. Now for this I'm using watermelon, mango and margarita mix. This is the margarita mix which is the green, sort of a limey green colour. This next colour is the mango. And the third and final colour is the watermelon, which is a lovely fruity red. So step number three is to blow paint with a straw and I'm using the Artiste acrylic paint from Do Crafts and this is golden yellow and I'm just going to mix that paint with a little bit of water then I'm going to apply it to the top right hand corner of my page and then blow it across using a straw.
So step number four is to use a stencil with a medium of your choice. So for me, I'm going to use this TCW microbial stencil and I'm going to use the archival ink in carnation red. And step number five, we're going to be adding some texture with modeling paste. Now I'm going to mix in this heavy carvable molding paste with some of the mango gelato that I used earlier to cool the molding paste before I put it through the stencil. And I will be using the same stencil as I did before, which is the TCW microbial one. I will keep adding more fragments and more shards of that mango gelato into the modelling paste until I'm happy with the colour. Now that I'm happy with the colour depth, I'm just going to apply that modelling paste through the stencil using the spatula. So step number six is to add collage elements or fragments. Now I'm using one of the butterflies from this watercolour stamp set from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. And I'm just going to use my jet black archival ink and stamp six of these butterflies onto a torn out book page. So now that I've stamped out all of my images, I'm going to fussy cut all six of those butterflies from the book page. But of course, I'm not going to make you sit through watching me cut out all six. So I'll just do the one and then I'll jump to the end. And now I've got all six of my butterflies all cut out. And I'm going to just play around with the positioning of them on my page. So I'm just going to bring my book back in and then lay them out on the page and then work out the best place to stick them down. And I want my butterflies to look as though they're flying in formation from the bottom left hand corner up to the top right hand corner of the page and I kind of wanted them in a formation of one two and three so it does turn out like that pretty much in the end now that I've worked out where everything's going to go I'm just going to use the Mod Podge matte medium and just stick all the butterflies down on my page and I did notice at one point that some of the archival ink wasn't exactly dry so it has mixed a little bit with the matte medium but only on that top butterfly. It hasn't really tinted it that much so I'm not particularly all that bothered.
And now that all six are securely in position and sealed down, I'm just going to give them a little blast with a heat tool just to make sure they're all nice and dry before I move on to the next step. Step number seven is to play with pens or pencils. And for me, I've brought out my big brush pit pens. I'm just going to add some green um, shadows just to the base of the butterflies and also adding a kind of trail. So you'll see me dragging some of the color down behind the butterflies as I'm blending that in with my finger. And the pen color that I'm using at the moment is the dark phthalo green. This next colour, which is the lighter green, is May Green. So the next step, which is number eight, is to add a border to my page. Now, because there's no other black on the page apart from in the butterflies, I've decided to add a black border with the archival link all the way around the outside of my page. Step number nine is to add some verbiage somewhere. So I've dug real deep in my stash and pulled out some very, very old rub-ons that I've had kicking around for a long time. Now, I don't particularly like using rub-ons because they never really work properly. The quality of some of the rub-ons that I've got in my stash um, are just not necessarily there. And when you start to use the rub-ons, they always invariably crack or you have bits missing or it never actually rubs on perfectly. So I've avoided using these for quite a long time. And as you can see, it does take a long time for all of the bits and to fill in so that I've got a decent impression with them. I really don't like using rub-ons, but they were there, so I thought I'd use them up. So after a lot of messing around and a lot of rubbing and going backwards and forwards over and over and over again, I finally managed to get a decent kind of impression with those rub-ons. And now we're on to the final step, which is to use stickles or glitter glue or add gems. Now I've pulled out this old tub of Stampin' Up! Dazzling Diamonds that I've had just kicking around for a long time. So I thought it was time to finish it off and get it used up. And all I'm doing is just adding a little trail from the butterflies um, just to give the impression of where they've been flying. And just as a final finishing touch, I'm just using this Stabilo Write For All permanent ink pen just to 
put back in the butterfly's antennas because a butterfly doesn't look like a butterfly unless it's got its feelers. And that just about wraps up this page for this month. So all I have to do now is just to sign and date it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that art journal page as much as I did and if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up because it really does help and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video and if you haven't had a look on the Facebook group for the Mission Inspiration I will put the link just here in the bottom of the screen right now. So that's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.